Okay, hello, good day once again. This is Maestro Sani to discuss the parts and functions of the integumentary system. But before we start the lesson, may I request everyone to those who did not yet subscribe with my YouTube channel, please do subscribe and click the notification bell in order for you to be notified for my next videos. Okay, so we have the parts and functions of the integumentary system. Integumentary system is one of the system which play an important role in the body. It is made up of different organs that we cannot live without. At the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to describe the functions and identify the parts of the integumentary system. So again, our lesson is based from the idea exemplar, lesson exemplar from Region 4 A Calabar Song. Okay, so this is the integumentary system. Contains the epidermis, the dermis, and the hypodermis. Integumentary is, is an organ. The integumentary is an organ or system consists, consisting of different parts. It has a set of important functions in the body. The following are the important functions of this organ system. First, it acts as a barrier to protect the body from the outside world. So that is the skin. It protects the body against disease. It helps retain body fluids. And it eliminates waste products in the body in the form of sweat, oil, and wax. This system also made up of different parts, namely skin, hair, nails, and endocrine glands. Okay, let us move to the skin. It is the largest organ of the body, but only a few millimeters thick. It forms body's outer covering. It protects the body from chemicals, diseases, ultraviolet rays of the sun, and the physical damage. It is the body's first line of defense. So, kung meron tayong mga frontliners as the first defense system against COVID-19 ng ating katawan naman po ay may first line of defense which is the skin. It is divided into three subparts namely epidermis, dermis, and hypodermis. So let us move to epidermis. It is the outermost layer of the skin that covers almost entire body surface. It is the thinnest layer of the skin. It also provides a waterproof barrier for the body and creates the skin tone. It is made up of a special cells called keratinocytes. Next, we have the dermis. It is a deeper layer of the skin found beneath the epidermis and the thickest layer of the skin. It also gives the skin strength and elasticity. It is made up of dense irregular connective tissue nervous tissue, blood, and blood vessels. Next is the hypodermis. It is the deepest layer of the skin. It is made up of fats and connective tissues which attaches the skin from the other parts. Next, we have the hair. It is an accessory organ of the integumentary system. It aids in the person's social functioning. It is made up of columns of tightly packed dead ker keratonocytes and is found and scattered all over the body. It is divided into different parts, namely hair follicles and hair bulb. That is hair. So when we say hair follicles, it anchors the hair into the skin. It regulates hair growth. 
it opens the sebaceous glands and it lets the oil and wax from the body to go out. While hair bulb forms the base of the hair follicles. It is made up of living cells that divide and grow to build the hair shaft. It modifies hair growth and structure at different times of life. So that is the hair follicle and the hair bulb. Next, we have the nails. It covers the tip of the finger and fingers and toes. It also a necessary organ of the integumentary system that is made up of sheets of hardened keratinocytes. It protects the fingers and toes from environmental damage. It is made up of several parts, namely nail plate and nail cuticle. When we say nail plate, it is the cute actual fingernails. So, kung nakikita natin, nakuko, that is nail plate. It is made up of translucent keratin. While cuticle is a layer of clear skin located at the bottom edge of the finger and toes. Then you have the endocrine glands. It helps produce body sweat, oil, and wax. Help cool down the skin surface. Help protect the skin and moisturize the skin surface. It is divided in two parts, namely sebaceous, sebaceous gland and sweat gland. So that is the endocrine gland. So when we say sebaceous gland, a small, a small oil producing gland found in the dermis. It is attached to the hair follicles. It produces oil, sebum, and waxy substance. Sweat glands, it is a small tubular structure at the skin that produces sweat found in the dermis and goes out of the skin pore. So yun yung nagpapalabas ng sweat or powies. Okay, so we have learning test number one. Complete the sentences in the graph, in the paragraph. Write your answer in your answers. So this is the paragraph. So you have to complete. You have to fill in the blank to complete the paragraph. The learning test number two. Matching type to match column A with column B. Learning task number 3, meron ulit tayong crossword puzzle. What I have learned, parts and functions of the integumentary system. The main function of the integumentary system is to provide the protective covering of the body. This system includes the skin and related structures such as hair, sweat, and oil glands, and the nails. It forms a barrier against hot and cold temperatures, harmful chemicals, and solar radiations as well as microorganisms. In addition, it has major role in the sense of touch and help maintain body's temperature. Likewise, the integumentary system is important for vitamin D production and plays a small role in excreting waste. Nerve ending in the skin are responsible for our sense of touch. This system is the body's first defense system against harm or injury. The skin protects internal organs and structure from injuries caused by friction like scrapes or cuts. It also keeps out microorganisms like bacteria. Hair insulates the body protects it from sunlight, and keeps irritant out of the eyes, among other things. Nail prevents injuries to the ends of the fingers and toes. While the skin can be damaged by falls and other injuries, the integumentary system still protects the internal organs. Another, the skin is also important for maintaining the body's internal temperature. The evaporation of sweat from the skin requires heat, which helps to cool the body. This can be as much as 2 gallons or 7.5 liters or more in extreme conditions. When body temperature rises, blood flow is also increased to the skin. 
where excess heat is lost through convection. In colder environments, bad blood flow to the skin decreases which reduces heat loss. The integumentary system includes sweat and oil glands. Providing information about an organism's environment is also a major function of the integumentary system. The nerve endings in the skin allow the body to sense temperature changes, pressure, and touch. The upper layer contains the receptors responsible for the sense of touch, while those in the lower layer of the skin can sense heat and cold pressure and pain hair and pain hair follicles but not the hair itself respond to touch as well if a toe fingernail is removed it is important to protect the area until it heads to prevent further injury helping the bodies helping the body make vitamin d is an important role of the skin Part of the process occur when ultraviolet rays from the sun strike precursor molecules in the skin. The damaged molecules are later converted into active form of vitamin D in the kidneys and liver. The body can produce all the necessary vitamin D in this way provided enough sunlight is available. Kaya po tayo minsan nagpapa, sabi ng mga magulang natin magpa-araw especially sa umaga pag hindi pa masyadong matindi ang init uh, ang sikat ng araw kasi vitamin D nga daw po yun which is collected by the skin of our skin sweat plays a key role in, temp in body temperature regulations the lesser function of the system is excreting waste sweat is nearly all water but contains small amount of waste products such as urea, uric acid, and ammonia. Other organs such as the kidneys play a much greater role in writing or, or reading the body of waste products. Ultraviolet light from the sun strike precursor molecules in the skin which are later converted into the active form of vitamin D in the liver. That's it. So we have now to assess the learnings that you gain. So this is now learning task number four. Answer the questions below. Write the letter of your answer. Your answers. So this is a multiple, multiple choice of test. What is the thinnest and outermost layer of the skin? Which of the following is the function of the integumentary system? Which of the following is an accessory organ of the integumentary system? It is made up of columns of tightly packed dead keratin, kerat, keratin, uh, keratinocytes found in all over the body. Which part of the integumentary system is an accessory organ that is made up of sheets of hardened keratinocytes? And then, which part of the integumentary system do the sweat, oil, and wax go out. So here are the key answers. So, ito po yung learning task number one kanina. The skin is a part of the integumentary system which covers almost the entire body. Another part of it is the hair which is necessary that is made up of layers of dead keratonocytes. Another accessory of the integumentary system is the nail which is found at the end of the fingers and toes. The exocrine glands has two parts. These are the sweat glands and the sebaceous glands which produces the sweat and sebum respectively. Then learning task number two. Hair shaft is foreseen above the skull. Cuticle is for E, which protect the nails from bacteria. Dermis is for letter A, the thickest layer of the skin. Nail matrix is for F, the area where nails start to grow. And sebaceous gland is for B, which produces the sebum or oily substance. 
Then, the crossword puzzle. So, had medyo hindi po nagkaintindihan dito. Banda. Hypodermis. So, letter I ang gagamitin. And hair follicles. Ang gagamitin naman ay eh, sa baliktad. Hindi niya natansya yung dapat dito. Eh. Then, we have epidermis. Dermis. Nail bed and set. Then we have learning task number four. The answer, answer the question below. Write the letter. So, ito yung multiple choice kanina. The cleanest and outermost layer is the epidermis. Function of the integumentary system. <coughs> Which of the following is an Accessory organ in the integumentary system that is hair. Another accessory organ is the nails or are the nails. Which part of the integumentary system do the sweat, the and exocrine gland? And that's it for the excretory system. Please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Maestro Sani saying thank you very much.